Today we'll talk about one of the most unique and powerful synthesizers from Arturia's D Collection 9. This synth is so advanced that you can easily consider it a modern digital synth. Curiously, it's not the most well-known emulation because this is not your standard Roland, Moog, Korg or even Buchla, and actually it's really hard to find emulation of this. I'm talking about the Synclaver V, and at the end of this video I hope you will convince that this is an amazing and powerful synthesizer, and it's a crazy sound design playground. If you enjoyed this video, it will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel, really, I appreciate that a lot. Also give the video a like, and if you want to support my future content and my independence here on YouTube, consider becoming a patron. You can get all the presets that I show on my videos, and also early access to them, so thank you in advance. So with the free ado, let's go! So the Synclaver V, initially it looks like this, nothing outstanding, in fact it seems a little bit empty, but you can also add a second module which is the partials. Now it looks, well, confusing. And I must say that the tutorial right here is really good to learn how this works. But to tell you the truth, 99% of the time I use it on this screen. It's better because it's easier to know what you're doing, especially because you can visualize every movement you make on the synthesizer. In other words, you can see and hear how you are affecting the sound. So, why I find this synthesizer so powerful? First of all, it has these 12 partials, which are actually oscillators or voices and they are the same, so it's a 12 voice synthesizer which is already pretty amazing. Each one of them is an oscillator that can be edited on an additive matter. You always start with the fundamental and you can add different harmonics to change the sound. You can also change the phase of each harmonic so the wave changes even further and you can see what are you doing right here because it shows you the end results of the wave. Having a 24 harmonics additive engine is powerful enough but this also has an FM engine and the modulator of the FM is the same kind of oscillator as well the carrier. That means that it's not only a sine wave but also you can change everything by adding different harmonics and changing the phase. So you can have this weird shape frequency modulate this other weird shape. The FM amount is right here on the mixer, but I will go back to mixer in a moment. Now this doesn't stop there, we are just scratching the surface. Each harmonic of both oscillators can be modulated through time by adding different points in this band right here. So in each one of these points you add a different amount of harmonics, so you have different shapes, and then when you play a key you will see how the wave right here starts to change depending on which point it is. <laughs> and it shows you how it's changing through time. So literally you are modulating the harmonics of the additive engine. So this is also kinda a wave shaping synthesizer, almost like editing a wavetable in a modern synthesizer. Literally one wave is turning into another by changing the amplitude and the phase of each of the harmonics of, well, a wave. Now, if you want more classic kind of sounds, you can also choose a sawtooth, a square and a triangle and the harmonics and the faces are going to modify so you can get the closest you can to those shapes with the limit of 24 harmonics. So, it's pretty nice, right? Well, guess what? Still, it doesn't stop there. Each of these 12 voices can also be a sample and you have a really nice amount of samples to choose from and you can put your own files too. This adds a lot more of depth to sound design because you can mix a synthesizer oscillator with a real sound or whatever you want. And you can even still apply the FM amount. Now that's good enough, but you can also transform the sample into an oscillator. Just look at this. We analyze to carrier, we choose the amount of points that this is going to be transformed into, and then we choose apply. And now we have the same crash sound, but now transformed into different wave shapes that change over time. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't sound anything close to the original sound, but it's how this limited amount of harmonics are interpreting the sound. With something more tonal, you can get better results, obviously. So, it seems complex, but believe me, once you get the hang of it, 
it's easy to program. You just have to understand how harmonics work on wave shaping. And if you want, I can do a video talking about how harmonics change the waves. And you have to understand that you can modulate the amplitude of each harmonic during time. This is crazy enough, right? This is really advanced and complex and crazy good, but still multiply that by 12 and you get a crazy powerful synthesizer to make any sound you want. I mean, 12 layers of crazy possibilities with additive engines, FM, samples, and modulation of the harmonics, each one combined into this mixer, where you can change the volume of each one, you can change the panning, the tuning, you can transpose them, change the octaves, add different amounts of FM, FM, different ratios, and you can even disable the pitch tracking. So now you understand why I find this synth to be so unique and powerful. It also have more things. For example, it has envelopes not only for the first oscillator, but also for the second oscillator, so you can even automate the FM of the sound. Each oscillator having its own envelopes gives you different ways to play with sound by adding different textures and whatnot. It also have these key dynamics where you can edit well, the keyboard, the velocity, the mod wheel. And finally, it has a really good mod matrix where you can change different parameters by different amounts on each partial. You can even choose your own kind of modulators. For example, you can even add an expression pedal, you can change something by sustain and release, the key dynamics, and you can apply the vibrato and the stereo LFO, other sounds, giving you even more possibilities for movement. Finally, it has three effects that are really nice, but Seeing this, I of course think that it would be amazing if Arturia made another version of the synthesizer as they did with the CS80 or the Prophet or whatnot. It would be amazing to have more of the effects that Arturia is using right now and maybe more possibilities for modulation. But still, as it is right now, I find this synthesizer to be one of the most unique things that the V Collection 9 has to offer. is a sound design playground. I hope you're convinced that this is a really powerful and unique synthesizer. It really is my favorite synthesizer on the V Collection 9, so I figured it was worth it to share it with you. But what do you think? Do you like the Synclaver V? Have you used it? Which one is your favorite synthesizer from Arturia? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and also give it a like and consider becoming a patron. I will appreciate a lot your help for me to continue making videos. I will see you around. Bye-bye.